I'm Pastor Carrie Bayless, Associate Pastor at First Lutheran Church here in Colorado Springs. Today I'm going to share with you the scripture that will be coming up on November 17th when we'll be preaching about the end times. This scripture today comes from Mark, the 13th chapter, and I'll share with you the first eight verses. As he came out of the temple, one of his disciples said to him, Look, teacher, what large stones and what large buildings. Then Jesus asked him, Do you see these great buildings? Not one stone will be left here upon another. All will be thrown down. When he was sitting on the Mount of Olives, opposite the temple, Peter, James, John, and Andrew asked him privately, Tell us, when will this be, and what will be the sign that all these things are about to be accomplished? Then Jesus began to say to them, Beware that no one leads you astray. Many will come in my name and say, I am he, and they will lead many astray. When you hear of wars and rumors of wars, do not be alarmed. This must take place, but the end is still to come. For nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be earthquakes in various places. There will be famines. But this is the beginning of the birth pangs. It's an interesting text about the end times, telling us of things that are to come, but that we might not see. It reminded me of a verse from a song from back in my college days. Every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end. And I think when we think about what the end times are going to look like, you know, the disciples had all these questions. They wondered, when is it coming? What will the science be? And Jesus tells them, we're going to be led astray. There's going to be earthquakes and famines. There's going to be wars and nations rising against nations. There will be lots of signs to come. But I think we see these signs all the time, and I don't think that we want to live in a place of fear, wondering, is this a sign? Is this the coming of the end times? Instead, I think we look to the future, maybe with hope instead, and we ask ourselves, do we really want to know when the end is coming? And if we did, how would we even prepare for it? I think when we look at this scripture in a couple of weeks here, we're going to look at it and think, how is it that we want to live now before the end times? How will we best prepare? And I think it comes to us in a message of love, in a message of kindness and mercy and grace. It's going to look at how are the ways that we can strive for justice and peace in this world so that when the end comes, we are prepared to be welcomed into the next kingdom. I hope you join us either here in person on November 17th, or you can always find us online at our YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in.